everything has a price tag and sometimes we choose to pay more to get more. But what if you had to pay more for exactly the same thing? I have to drive, that's how I get to work, that's how I do my shopping. Leah relies on her car for her and her young family, but because she lives in a low-income area with higher crime rates, her car insurance costs much more than someone living in a different postcode. I do believe that I could be a victim of economic abuse, um, in particular with the car insurance. I, you know, I'm a qualified teacher, I have children, I am doing my part in society and I'm still discriminated um, because of where I live. Hello. Leah is stuck paying a poverty premium and it's not just insurance that's a problem. The reality is many people are paying a premium for being poor. They're forced to pay additional costs for things such as energy, loans, credit cards and insurance, either because they earn less or they live in the wrong place. And for those people, that doesn't seem fair. When we look at the way the poverty premium chips away at people's financial well-being, it's really about not having choices. It's about not having a stable and reliable income to allow you to sign up for the kinds of payment methods that give you discounts. It's about the fact that if you don't have much money, credit companies will charge you more to borrow. And then if you don't, if you don't have savings and you can't use affordable credit, then when you need to do something like replace the washing machine, you end up having to buy it on a catalogue or on higher purchase. And all of that adds costs. Leah grew up in a household that really struggled because of the poverty premium. They charge you a fee as well. After her dad suffered a stroke, her mum Paulette became a full-time carer and with no one working, they relied on benefits. This meant the energy companies would not allow them to pay a monthly tariff and they were stung with a prepayment meter which inevitably cost them more. It was literally just topping it up every week with you know a large amount of our our income especially when it was extremely cold um, you had no choice you know you either had to um, put it on borrow money you know any which way you could you know do you think there should be a fairer way of doing this absolutely there should be a fairer way and um, this is something that they should um, consider when people fall on hard times more than 14 million people are experiencing the poverty premium and have to pay extra for essentials such as energy, loans and insurance. It's thought to cost the average low-income household an extra £490 a year and for one in ten households at least £780. But recent research found one family paying an excess cost of £1,680. That's the equivalent of nearly a year's worth of food shopping. First of all, one organisation needs to take responsibility for this. Myself and my staff spend all our time going to different depart government departments, Treasury, Bays, and there might be signposted the, to the Financial Conduct Authority, to Ofgem, to the Competition and Markets Authority, perhaps the Equality Human Rights Commission, and then everybody points back to each other. Usually the fingers point to the FCA to take more responsibility but at the moment they don't have that remit and we're trying to change that. The government often talks about its levelling up policy, but many believe they failed to tackle the poverty premium. A fairer economy, after all, would lead to a fairer society. Danny Sinha, Five News.